Today we'll take a look at common main connectors used in the RC hobby. We'll group these connectors into three classes, from the smallest to medium to the largest, and talk about the characteristics that distinguish between them. The first group we have is the smallest group of connectors that range in current carrying capacity from 1 up to about 20 amps. The smallest of these is the Pico connector, which is commonly found on the Park Zone Vapor or Blade MSR helicopter. This connector only safely carries a couple amps of current. And the next step up is the JST PHR2, which is found on the Blade MCPX helicopter. Further up, we have the JST connector, which is commonly found on many Park Flyer models. All of these connectors are not available loose or separately as connectors, but only as soldered or crimp leads due to the fine tools that are required for their assembly. Moving up a little bit, we have the micro T-plug connector and mini T-plug connector. These connectors carry from about 10 to 20 amps of current. Also in this range is the EC2 connector, which uses a small 2 millimeter bullet and is the largest in this group, safely carrying 20 amps plus of current. Looking now at the medium class of connectors, we have the most common type, known as the T-plug connector here, which is soldered to at the end and then shrink wrap placed over the wire. Very similar to that is the XT60 connector, both in size and current carrying capacity, but on this connector you have a small bullet which is in a housing here. The advantage is that the bullet doesn't have exposed prongs coming out of it, but is shrouded inside of the plastic housing for a little improved safety. Also in this class is the Sermos or Anderson Power Pole Connector, which comes in 15, 30, and 45 amp versions. We do not offer this either separately. It's typically a crimped connector, although we do have charge leads and parallel charge leads available with it. Also in this class, you have the EC3 and Traxxas connectors, which are actually soldered separately and then assembled into the plastic housing. All of the connectors in the medium class carry between 40 to 70 amps of current and are generally equivalent. They have a resistance ranging from 0.3 up to 0.4 milliohms, which means they're equivalent to about a 12 to 14 gauge length of wire. The next class of connectors is the largest. If you're flying anything larger than, say, a 550 helicopter, something in the 600-700 range or equivalent, you'll want to look at these connectors. The first of which is the EC5 connector, which uses a 5 millimeter bullet in a safe plastic housing. This connector can carry 120 amps continuous safely and is able to use a wire up to 12 gauge in size. If you're needing anything larger, such as uh, 10 gauge or 8 gauge wire, you'll want to look at our PRC6 connector, which is very popular in the largest applications, safely handling 200 amps plus of current continuous. So this covers the whole range of connectors. Certainly there's a lot of them out there and you need to select the right one for your application so as not to overload the system. If you have any questions or need any more help with this, let us know and we'll be happy to help.